in this lab session we learn the generation and detection of fm modulation the components required for fm generation is 8038 ic along with some discrete component for demodulation also we require diode and discrete components fm is a technique where the frequency of carrier is varied in accordance with the message signal so if this is our message signal here the carrier frequency is varied in accordance with the message signal so this is the definition of frequency modulation where the characteristic feature of carrier that is frequency is varied in accordance with the message signal so he here will consider the carrier frequency as 10 kilohertz by assuming the resistance of 3.3 kilo ohm we are going to calculate the required capacitor to be connected for that ic to generate carrier frequency of 10 kilohertz so this would be our observation in this experiment on obtaining the frequency modulation we observe on the waveform maximum frequency and minimum frequency and we observe the amplitude of the message signal and the frequency of the message signal all these observation should be noted carefully based on the observation we are going to calculate frequency deviation modulation index frequency sensitivity and bandwidth for fm as shown in the equations so this is the circuit diagram of fm generation using 8038ic as told earlier ra and rb and this capacitor decides the frequency of the carrier that is 10 kilohertz as shown here in the absence of message signal this ic generates square wave triangular wave and sine wave so this ic is operated at 12 volts dc supply we are going to observe fm wave at pin number 2 on application of message signal here which is 300 to 500 hertz with an amplitude of 4 to 5 volts so these are the expected waveform which is to be written in the examination carrier message signal and the fm wave here we have to show f maximum and f minimum here this component is higher frequency and this component is lower frequency therefore we have to observe the value on x-axis between two peaks so between two peaks of higher frequency you calculate and that will be f maximum and calculate number of divisions subdivision on x-axis between two peaks of a lower frequency multiply it by time per division that gives you the f minimum note down all the values and this is the circuit diagram where the integrated circuit is connected with discrete components as shown and here on function generator we are seeing the frequency of the message signal is approximately 289 hertz with an amplitude of 5.63 volts with a 12 volts power supply is shown here which is connected to the ic and here is the output carefully note down volts per division and time per division while calculating so in this waveform we are going to observe the low frequency component and high frequency component so we have to find the distance between this 
peak that is uh, the low component peak f minimum and the high frequency component like here two peaks distance multiplied by this time per division gives f maximum so these two values are very essential to calculate the frequency deviation so now when the circuit is ready turn on the signal generator and adjust the message signal to 400 hertz with amplitude 4 volts peak to peak and observe clearly the waveform on CRO. Turn on 12 volts and observe waveform at pin number 9, 3 and 2 and note down the readings. After note down the readings of F minimum, F maximum fm and am that is message frequency amplitude of message signal substitute those values in the equation to find frequency deviation modulation index frequency sensitivity and bandwidth based on the experiment these are some of the questions that may ask in the examination about what is modulation? What are the types of modulation? What are the differences between FM, AM and PM? And some application of frequency modulation? And what is the importance of modulation index in modulation? Thank you. Keep learning.